Cash for Clunkers succeeded in bringing business in car dealers' doors, and it got clunkers off the road. But now that it's over, local dealers are hurting. Showrooms are empty, cars are sitting, and sales are way down. In some cases, lower than they were before Cash for Clunkers even started. KXLY 4's McKay Allen has our story. Cash for Clunkers. It was a great program for us. Great for most dealers. Sales were up and people were looking. There was just a ton of people around. The, the salesmen were excited because they had somebody to talk to. Nationwide, dealers sold almost 700,000 new cars during Cash for Clunkers. And locally, almost every dealership sales went up. But now, one month since the program ended... There's been a big decrease in traffic. The lookers are gone. The sales are fewer and farther between. At Gus Johnson Ford, during the Cash for Clunkers month, they sold over 70 new vehicles. So far in September... We'll end up with probably a little over 40 new cars and trucks. A decrease of over 40%. And other dealers are feeling the Cash for Clunkers hangover too. Dishman Dodge says their sales are down at least 30% since Cash for Clunkers ended. Hallmark Hyundai down 25%. Foothills Mazda's down 30%. But the hardest hit might be Spokane Kia. During Cash for Clunkers, they sold 76 cars. In the month since it ended, they've sold around 10. The problem? Everyone who needed a small car has apparently bought one. The dealers that are apparently getting hit the hardest are those that are selling small economical cars, but there is some insulation, however, for those that are selling big trucks. Because most new trucks didn't qualify for rebates during cash for clunkers, the new truck market hasn't been saturated. That's what will carry us through the winter. And with huge discounts on big trucks, the domestic dealers hope now they have the advantage. A lot of those small import guys didn't have any trucks to sell, so our truck business is, is just starting to pick up. September and October is a good truck time for us. McKay Allen, KXOY 4HD News.